Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a cream highlighting and contouring video. If you're wondering the difference between highlighting and contouring with creams and liquids as opposed to powders, basically it's just going to give you a more natural finish. I know that seems crazy since you're sculpting out your face with super light and dark shades, but it is going to give you more of a natural, settled in look, very airbrushed, HD, camera ready. You see all the celebrity makeup artists doing this right now in Hollywood just because it makes you look just like over the top beautiful and glamorous. Everything is blended as opposed to when you work with powders. Sometimes it can get a little bit choppy. It can look a little cakey on dry skin. It can look too glittery and it might break up a little bit. Using liquids and creams as long as you're applying them correctly is going to look beautiful on everybody. So let's just get started. I'm going to put my hair on top of my head so that it's not in your way really quick. And yes, I did dye it darker. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> It's still red, but it's darker. Isn't that so cute? So this outlet is ugly. I'm sorry, just don't look at it. So there are a couple of different ways to do highlighting and contouring with cream products. You can do before your foundation or after. I believe that doing it after your foundation is the easiest way, so that's what I'm going to show you. I already have applied my Hourglass Veil Liquid Foundation. This is the illuminating one. It's very new. I think this is my second or third time using it. So far, I do like it. And I use my Sigma F80 brush just to stipple this all over my face. So that's all I have. I don't have any concealer under my eyes. All I have is this foundation stippled on. When you're applying your foundation before you highlight and contour with cream products, make sure you do not put a heavy amount on. I literally used one full pump and I just stippled all around my face and that's enough because you're going to be putting more products on so you don't need to do a full coverage amount of foundation on the face. Just make sure you do not apply a powder foundation because powders can never go before liquids. You have to make sure powder is the last thing to ever touch your face. If you put a powder first, then a liquid, it's going to break up like crazy, so just keep that in mind. First product I'm going to use is this MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in shade Light Boost. This is the yellowy green shade. There are two others, Bright Forecast and Radiant Rose. Radiant Rose is a more pink color, and Bright Forecast is more a peach shade for much darker complexions. The reason I'm using Light Boost, which is more yellowy green, is because of my skin tone. I have a little bit of yellow in it, so if I were to put pink on, it would make me look very washed out and zombie-ish. Now, I do use the pink tone under my eyes, because if you're using yellow on the face and foundation, foundations and highlighters, you do want to use the opposite shade under the eyes, typically unless you are an exception. That way it just looks more natural and balanced out. I'm literally just going to go to town and show you how to do this. I'm going to twist up so that sun comes out and I'm going to start right here at the bottom and I'm going to draw a line from my earlobe pretty much up to my lip area. Then I'm going to just put a line right here, my chin, and then we want to emphasize the cupid's bow. So I go in the center up to the nose and then slightly up there. This will make your top lip look fuller. Then I'm going to go around here because a lot of times we get shadows in areas like this and redness. So I'm just going to go in and fill that in. And then I'm also going to bring it down here so that this area doesn't sink away. I know I look crazy. And then we're just going to do like a little flower in the center of the forehead and just kind of spiral this outward. And then we're going to touch right on the top of that brow. If you highlight above here, it's a really easy trick to make that brow look even higher and more arched. If you don't have time to sculpt out brows or highlight under your brows, you can just put some highlighter up here like this and it will immediately bring that brow higher. And then right here, I just put this on and I almost draw football laces just to finish that off. And then I take my F80 and I just go ahead and blend this all in. And you can move in any motions you want, circular motions, dragging motions, whatever you're comfortable with. When we get up in here, make sure you're working outward from your nose area. So make sure you're blending down and you're dragging this all along that top area of the lip. Because if you notice a lot of times throughout the day, Foundation can cake up on your top lip area and almost make it look like you have a semi mustache if that makes sense And putting that lightness up there will make sure that you don't get like any dark pigmentation or foundation gathering up It'll keep it light Work upward and outward blending all this together then I'm going to go in with Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. This is in shade Luminous 2. It is made for highlighting, so it is nice and sheer. It's beautiful. It has a little bit of luminosity in it. And I start in the corner of my eye, and I bring it down to the corner of my nose, and then we're going to get thinner like stair steps, and we're going to take it back towards the temple right in that area. So I bring it down towards the nose, and then stair steps back towards the temple again. Then I'm going to take a Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush, this is the F86, and I'm going to just blend this out, going downward 
and then pulling it backward again, just in small strokes. Now I'm going to go in with my actual concealer, and since I've already done so much highlighting, I don't have to use too much of it. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I am using shade NW20. And then with my ring finger, I'm just going to take a little bit of it, and I'm going to tap inner corner, and then below it, and then on the side, just three dots on each eye, and then blend this out. And once again, make sure you blend this all the way back past that brow and all the way in to the nose area. When you are blending concealer and right underneath your eye and those fine lines where concealer always wants to settle and crease, make sure that you don't just blend in one motion. If you're consistently blending outward like this, your concealer is gonna wanna set outward like that. So make sure you go inward and then outward, inward and then outward, and that will make it so that your concealer doesn't just sit there in your lines. Also make sure you tap a lot if you swipe, you're gonna just drag it around, and once again, it's going to not only pull at your eye area, but it's gonna to wanna to settle in there. So make sure that you tap backward and forward, backward and forward. I then take whatever is left over, and I bring it in towards this area, just to meet that highlighting that we did before right there. I bring it up on the bridge of the nose, and drag it in there so that we don't have any darkness in this inner corner. So I'm going to be using a Bobbi Brown foundation stick to contour with. You can use whatever you have. A drugstore foundation that's like four or five shades darker than you will work just fine. But this is what I've got at my mom's house, and it's new, so I want to try it. So let's hope for the best. It's in shade Caramel. It is about four to five shades darker than my skin tone. So we will see how this works. I'm going to use a Sigma Ankle Kabuki brush in F. 80 is the number of it and I'm going to just make sure that whatever product you do pick up you get on the tip of the brush especially and it really doesn't matter how much you get because it's going to be harsh no matter what and you're going to blend it out so just get it on the tip of that brush you can see it in there it's really dark and then I'm going to start right in that contour line I do have a contouring video that's like really in depth all with powder products I will link that below but I'm just going to kind of do this so I'm just going to push this right in that contour line and Oh, this is nice. It's actually like not coming off super, super harsh. Love. And I'm going to just work in this area like that. Now you can see that that's obviously very harsh, but I'm going to do the same thing over here and push it in that area. And you want to push upward when working with cream products because you don't want it to drag down unless you intentionally want to bring it downward. You want everything to be up and perky. So I'm going to do the same thing up here on the forehead, I'm going to just push this color in there and then over here. This is just going to bring in these areas and make the face look like it has more shape and definition. And I'm going to touch a little bit right on the hairline of the temples just for more warmth and get it all in my hair. Yay! Then I'm going to take just a little bit right here on the bottom of my jawline just to blend everything together. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and I'm just literally wiping off like this so that there's not tons of that cream product still on it. And then I'm just gonna go back and I'm going to work in circular motions. Over here, you want to blend the sides down more than the center. If you have a large forehead and you wanna make it look smaller, you can bring this down pretty harshly to make your forehead look smaller. If you don't have that issue and you just simply wanna contour, I like to leave this area kind of blank right in here and that will look more natural. I'm going to take this Sigma All Over Blend Brush in E37. This is in their Perfect Blend Kit. And I'm going to take more of this right here. And what I'm going to do is just really sculpt this out with a harsh line, going from the top of the ear right down like that. And it's gonna be a pretty small line, but I want it to be more harsh just so that we can get a little bit more intense contour. Once again, wiping that brush off so that you don't have tons of cream on it, I'm just going to start flicking it upward and back and forth, bringing it forward and up. And then I'm just going to go over it so that there's no harsh lines and we don't have like that crazy line anymore. 
you can see the difference between this side and how it's blended and this side and how it's much more choppy. So that's what this brush is for. So just use that angle to bring it down. Try not to go any higher than like up here. You want to keep it in this lower cheekbone area and just blend that around. So last thing I do in that step is I just go back with the F80 that I originally applied foundation and blended in my highlight and I go from the corner of my lip and then I drag it back to the ear just to clean up if at all that contour was being blended downward because I don't want this area to have contour on it because that will sculpt out the cheeks the most. So just from the corner of the lip in a swooping motion, just drag it back. You can even go back with the highlighter a second time if you want just in like these areas just to make sure that you didn't get any of that liquid bronzer down there because you don't want this area to be dark at all or that can have an opposite effect and make your face look larger so you want to make sure that this area right here is nice and light i'm going to take a tiny bit more of that contour and i'm going to just bring it underneath my lip area and i'm going to create a shadow and lightly buff it downward right there just being very light-handed with this and if you go like this you'll be able to see it but if you just have your lips normally like this this is a trick to make your bottom lip look much fuller just like putting the lightness on the top of your lip will make your top lip look fuller so lightness on top darkness on bottom and if you line your lips and put on lipstick it will work and you will have much fuller looking lips now that we are completely done applying cream products to the face, now is the time to use any setting or finishing powder of your choice. I always recommend using a powder to set that under eye concealer though so that nothing creases or moves or settles. It'll also help keep any eyeshadow that you choose to apply under your eye area in place and not settle in the creamy concealer that we applied. So we are all done now. I just went in and finished the rest of my makeup just using some eyeshadow and mascara on the lower lash line. I set my concealer with a little bit of powder and I use MAC Margin Blush on my cheeks. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and you found it informative. If you decide to highlight or contour using creams or liquids at home and you post any pictures, make sure you tag me in them on Twitter and Instagram. I love to see what you guys do and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!